Hey, this is Sune. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to talk about the FTMO verification challenge that I'm doing right now using the range breakout expert advisor. So this EA is um, doing the challenge for a while now. This account is currently running for one and a half months. I streamed most of the time live, like also for the last three weeks when I was on vacation, everything was live 24 seven. So this is, uh, I'm just trying to be completely transparent here. And I'm trying to show you how a FTMO challenge or especially how trading can look in real life. And I'm really glad that a lot of you guys are appreciating it. Um, I mean, there are always people that say, that this EA can never make profit or that this EA can never win the challenge or something. And this is why I want to make this video to give you like a broad overview of uh, this strategy or trading in general and um, give you a little insight in how real life trading looks like because in real life you cannot really predict the future. And that's why trading is always a risk. And I know there are a lot of people in the internet um, that tell you something else, but it's just not the truth. And whenever someone tells you that he has a strategy or a approach on trading that generates profits every single week or every single month, um, he's simply lying because that is not something that is possible. Because, I mean, if that, if that would be possible, um, it would have been discovered by larger funds already. So a, lo a lot uh, more people would do it, a lot more money would follow the strategy, which would make the whole strategy not work anymore. So let's talk about this account. This is the verification account for the FTMO challenge that I run. It's still the very first FTMO challenge that I ever started. So this project is running for two and a half months now. And you can see this account is currently at um, 98,000 US dollar. It was way below this, but it was also way above this. And this is um, what you really have to understand if you want to get into this trading business. Trading is not a one-way street. So it's not always winning, winning, winning. It's not always losing, losing, losing. If you follow a strategy, you will have better periods and you will have bad periods. And this is something that you would see for every strategy. So um, yeah, so again, this account is currently at um, 98,000. I'm still trading the same five markets. I, I'm still using the same exact settings and I will use these markets and the settings for the rest of the period that I still have to pass this challenge. And the challenge is over, I think, on the 4th of um, February. So we can see that I still have today, tomorrow and the Friday and then two more weeks to pass this challenge. And at this point, everything is still possible. It is still possible that I will hit the 5% profit target, but it is also possible that I will reach the 10% drawdown rule and breach the account. And also I will make this even more possible, like both of these events, because I'm thinking about increasing the risk. If we have a look at one of the charts here, you can see right now I'm still trading with 0.5% uh, risk, and I'm thinking about increasing this to 1% or at least 0.75, um, yeah, the next days or maybe the next week. This is because if we um, jump over to the analysis of this account and you can see this here, you can see that there is a lot of um, movement here. If we have a look at the equity and the, the balance and you can see this account was already up like 3% here, 3.5%. Three so it was really close to the profit target already, but it was also down 7% um, at the worst point here. <clears throat> So you can see with 0.5%, there, there were so many trades, but neither of these levels are reached. So I think at this point, with only two weeks left, I should do something because I really want to reach the profit target or at least um, use the whole um, room that I have here for trading. So I think at this point, I'm definitely able to increase the risk by 0.5% uh, per trade. So increase it to a total of 1% because even if I do not fail the verification challenge and if I just trade two more weeks with 0.5% risk, 
I will still lose the challenge if I do not re re uh, reach the profit target goal. And it's not like um, the challenge phase, um, but for the verification phase, it is that if I lose the challenge or if I do not reach the profit target, I will lose the challenge. So there's no free retake. There is no, um, yeah, there are, there are no rules um, that would help me here because um, if I cannot make the 5% in the next two and a half weeks, I will simply lose the verification and then I lose the whole FTMO challenge. So this is why I plan to increase the risk. And yeah, you can, um, uh, I would like to hear your um, recommendation or what you think about this in the comment section. So if you have any thoughts on this, just drop me a comment and I would be glad to have a little discussion in the comment section there. So let's have a look at some more of these metrics here. And we can see that um, if we have a look at the rules here, or the training objectives, we can see that I traded a total of um, 31 days already. These are all the trading days of the last um, one and a half month. And yeah, you can, of course, subtract the weekends. So this is why it's not more, but there were 31 trading days in total, which is, of course, a pass on the first trading objectives, objective, with uh, which is the minimum of 10 trading days. But after all, this is not a real objective because if you reach um, the profit in only one, two or three days, you can just have seven more days where you just trade 0.01 lots. So I'm not really sure why this objective even exists. Um, then we have the maximum daily drawdown. This was never violated. The maximum drawdown was 3.7% or 3.8. So you can see with a 0.5% that I risked for every single trade, I didn't really hit the maximum daily loss. So it's I mean, it's not really a conservative approach. It's not a low risk approach that I take here with 0.5%, but it's also not a high risk approach. So I can increase the risk to um, yeah, maybe 1% for the next days to um, yeah, just use the whole space or the whole um, yeah, the, the room that I have here with the risk to be able to reach the profit target. Then we saw the maximum loss was 7.3%. We saw this already here in the graphic. And then we have the profit target, which should be in the best case 5K at the end of this month. But yeah, right now it is down 1.7%. So it's not really close to the profit target, but yeah, again, it is still everything is possible. So let's have a look at um, the at the um, statistics here. You can see the average profit is 800. The average loss is 500. This is because I usually trade a risk reward wedge ratio, which is at least one to one, but in most cases two to one or even um, six to one in the USD Japanese yen. Then we have, of course, a profit factor, which is currently negative. And you can see the win rate is below 40%. But this is kind of okay because of this um, big risk-reward ratios in a lot of these charts. So now let's have a look at the um, symbol um, overview here. So we can see right now GBPUSD is the worst market, which is per performing really bad, especially in the last weeks. There's a drawdown of 4.3% in this single market. Then we have USD um, or US 30, which is the Dow Jones. This is the best market right now. USD Japanese yen is 3.2% uh, in profit, second best market. This was already at 6 or 7% in profit at some point, but there were a lot of losing trades, especially in the last um, weeks also. Then we see the German index down 2%, and we see the euro dollar, which actually was really good in the last few weeks, but before this time, it was down like 5% or so. So it really had a, um, had a good recovery run in the last weeks. So you can see, um, yeah, right now, US um, 30, like Dow Jones and uh, US dollar Japanese yen are the best markets and GBP USD is really bad. So this is the overview. So to answer the question, the, the big question that a lot of people ask me uh, also in the live stream and I read all the comments um, that you post uh, in the live stream and also below below the videos. I cannot answer to all of them because, um, or, or at this point, I do not want to answer all of the comments um, because there are a lot, so it would take a lot of time. But I read every comment and I try to respond to them in the videos, of course. So why do not do I not stop this um, challenge, and why do I not like switch the EA, or why do I why don't I um, uh, start to trade manually and stuff? To answer this question, I did another test here, and you can see this in the background already. 
So this test is done and performed using the range breakout uh, multi-currency program that I wrote. I made a video with this program in the last few weeks. So you, if you want to check it out, this program is just used to simulate this account. So in this EA, I wrote that I want to trade all of these five markets with the settings that I use here that are different for every single chart. And this gives me the overall performance of this um, yeah, so-called portfolio for the last three years. And I now want to wait until this test is finished. I'm testing from the 1st January 2020 until the current point, which is the middle of February 2023. So let's just wait until this test is finished and then let's talk about what we see on the screen. Okay, so this test is now finished and you can see like in the last three years, uh, most of the time the EA was doing really great in this portfolio, the way I use it in these five charts with the settings that I shows. And this is pretty much the foundation for, for, for the whole challenge. So I use these five charts with these settings because of the tests. And that's all I, 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 I can do, I think, because whenever you trade, you, you can never predict the future. You can never see the future. So what do you do? You base your decisions based on the history. And so I made this test and you can see mm, historically that this would have performed really great. I mean, there are also always periods like here, longer periods. Also, this is like one month where it couldn't make any profit. Uh, also here, there's another one or two month period where it couldn't make a lot of profit. But then you can see most of the time it was doing good. And I mean, of course, this is a back test. So like the reality would have been a bit worse. I mean, this is out of question, but still the EA is or did great in the last uh, years. And this is what my uh, decisions are based on. And now if we have a look at this, so if we, um, let's have a look at this, for example, this was the end of the last year. And then I started again using this EA at the start of this year. So somewhere here, and you can see in this period, it was just the unlucky period. There were not a lot of profits, but this doesn't mean, or in my opinion, it doesn't mean that the EA is bad. It doesn't mean that I should cancel the challenge, that I should start trading manually, that I should switch to another EA, because I mean, you never know what comes next. In the next few weeks, it could go up like this, or it could go even, even further down. And I never know. And this is why I do not want to make any changes. But what I want to do is I want to increase the lot size. And this is just because I only have like two weeks left and I got to make the most of it. Because if I do not win this challenge and hit the 5%, I will lose it. So this is a little summary just to catch up with what happened when I was not around in the last few weeks. So I hope that everyone's up to date now. And let's hope together that I am still able to win this challenge because I really want to make more content about this and really show you how this FTMO works in the live phase, um, how do the workouts, uh, the payouts work, is everything legit and stuff like this. So please like the video if you want to see more about this and also make sure to um, yeah write a comment and let me know what you think about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great time and good trades. See you in the next video. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.